Massachusetts. 541 new COVID cases confirmed today in Monroe County. 11 new deaths reported. According to County Health Commissioner Dr. Michael Mendoza, the deaths occurred over the last few weeks and the data just became available. He says the numbers are higher than ever before. Our case numbers, our hospitalizations, uh, our ICU uh, statistics are all increasing higher than they ever have been in the past. And so what I would say simply is this, um, we're at a tipping point again in this crisis and we need to find a way for all of the good things that uh, we are trying to implement at the community level, at the regional level, at the state level. The fact of the matter is that the future of all of this uh, rests in our own homes. While those numbers are sobering, a bright spot in all of this, testing in schools has gone well since the initiative started last week. Governor Cuomo released slightly adjusted requirements for schools today. Monroe County Executive Bellow says he feels good about those changes. The schools really have been safe, um, and we're working with numbers, and we're working in facts, and, I, and I'm glad to see this development. Also, the fact that schools, we really want to keep them open, and we want to work together to do that, and also but be able to do it in a way where we can manage the capacity in terms of testing, and also make sure that this is something that we can continue into the future. The new testing requirements still call for schools in the zones to test weekly, but in the orange zone, they have to hit 20% by the end of a month. This was previously 25% per week. Red zones have to hit 30% per month. Overall, Governor Cuomo says the testing in schools is going very well. The school protocols and the school testings, great, highly effective. Uh, astonishing how low the levels of infections uh, are in schools. Local districts do have the option to increase testing.